What's good, girls and boys and ladies and gents? Martino or simply Tino here. Update 21 will obviously launch next between the 23rd and 25th of September and bring some new quality of life improvements and this time a new bounty pack instead of an old one back. I honestly love the relaunches of the old packs with some new items but I'm honestly also okay with new ones if there's something nice in it and I honestly love the western theme since I'm a boy because movies like Once Upon a Time in the West for a few dollars more, Day of Anger, The Outlaw Josie Wales, Death Rides a Horse, Django, The Good and the Bad and the um, well, I'm getting lost, are just my favorite movies, but some of you may not know what I'm actually talking about, because the next bounty pack will be named Open Range Pack and have an old, but also newer Wild West inspired theme. Actually, uh, we're actually ready to announce uh, what the next pack is going to be that comes the following month. Um, that pack is going to be called the Open Range Pack. Uh, here's a description that's in the patch notes. This pack blends elements of old and modern West to create a collection that evokes images of ranching and rustling alike. So whether you dream of quick drawing a pearl handled revolver... So before I dive in deeper into the upcoming things, I want to point out that until then, the anniversary pack will be retired. There were only two useful items in my opinion, the Trumbull 4x4 and the Ancestral Talwar Blade, so grab at least one of each, since they'll be gone for a while then. So speaking of it, speaking of retiring, the Blood Mobile will also be retired at the launch of Update 21, so I guess this means that we'll get a new vehicle as Radio Call, maybe another ranch car like the Norma, <laughs> nah, I guess no vehicle this time since we had enough new ones in the past times. But it might be possible to have a pickup or something with a unique design like the wizard van, but with a canyon and gunslinger um, visual design on it. Open range pack wise, I guess they'll deliver us a new cowboy hat, or maybe two, two revolvers, maybe even a third modern one, which is silenced like the Echo S1 revolver and the OSS Silent Knight, two guns, one of which will be a Winchester and the other one a rifle with the shot reload at the grip, like the brush gun or medicine stick in Fallout New Vegas which comes to mind for me personally. I'll blend in a clip and I don't know how to call such rifles since I'm not an expert and then we may get a gunslinger outfit and probably also a farmer outfit with a denim jacket. The new unique reload animation for such a western gun was already promised in the last stream by Joffrey so it's no bullshit I just made up. Yeah, there might be sometime in the in the future we might add uh maybe one or two extra gun firing animations but they're not reloads you know we were talking about the potential for you know new animations associated with guns we did sneak in maybe a couple of new animations that might be familiar to anybody who's fired some uh some all uh, some old west weaponry so Fixes I'd like to see are single purchases at Anglaves, for example their toolkits, molotovs and even the first 8 kits are all stacked, even up to over 10 or 15, 20 amounts. Like look at this, there, sell one and then buy. Why not buy one with, with why? Why? Just why? <laughs> or this one? Ha! Hey, hey, that's possible, buy one. Oh, but why not gas cans and... Freaking toolkits. Why? I can't purchase a single unit and that should be a thing, just like picking up and dropping off single units of items at a supply locker, so why isn't it a thing while trading too? Another thing we desperately need for a longer time and the developers magically just found out about in the last stream, using heavy weapons doesn't contribute to your fighting level. Are you guys aware that the heavy weapons aren't increasing fighting? Um, huh, I'm not aware I of that. So constantly using a heavy weapon doesn't level up your skill and last but not least we finally need a stronger and more intelligent acting AI. We were promised a better AI for so long and I said update 17 and even an update 18 in the patch notes that they were improved and overly they also improved their behavior but they're still taking too much time until they start an action and still fight too reckless and inexperienced like boys. <laughs> So they don't dodge or heal up too often enough and just let themselves getting overrun and getting too much into trouble, which would be unnecessary if they would be programmed wiser. So they shouldn't use a ranged weapon to close enemies, nor use melee on a play card, human hostile or even a juggernaut, because dude, that's ridiculous. But yeah, these were mine points. Let me know what you wish to see in the next update, sorry, and some possible patch ideas that you have in mind or on your wish list. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Goodbye.